I'm Dr. Shadi Kademi and I'm an occupational medicine physician here at the University of Texas Health Science Center at Tyler. Our clinic has two functions. On the one hand, we take care of our employee population here at the Health Science Center. On the other hand, we also provide occupational health services to various companies in the region and we have many clients that we serve. And so um, when the pandemic first started, one of the first things we were tasked with was the entry screening process here at the hospital. And so we thought about the ways in which we should do screening, um, whether for employees, visitors, or patients. In addition to that, um, the pandemic started right around the spring break holidays, and so travel quarantines were being implemented. We were getting inundated with phone calls to our occupational health clinic asking us how we needed to proceed and whether people could go on um, their vacation still or whether they needed to cancel them and then that evolved to many other issues um, like how to manage ill employees or employees who had been tested um, and for those who had been tested positive making return to work decisions for when they could safely come back to work. Primarily we were initially um, addressing most of them by phone. As the volume increased we realized we needed to have an electronic survey that employees could fill out very easily whether by mobile device or, or computer um, and we began to automate that process and over time we've continued to further automate it so that we free up time to help address other issues also earlier in the pandemic, many employees had questions with regards to whether it was safe to continue their job duties. And so on the basis of age and comorbidities, we um, developed an algorithm by which to risk stratify in order to help employees and their supervisors make decisions about whether an employee needed to work remotely or whether if they were in the healthcare setting, if they need to minimize patient contact and what changes, if any, needed to be made for their safety. We began having questions from our clients in the community about how they um, needed to put measures into place for the safety of their employees. And so we had a dental clinic locally and a few of our faculty and residents did a work site walkthrough um, to look at their work configuration to see ways in which it could be improved. We also had a few of our nurses who were able to do what we call respirator fit testing um, for a cohort of dental hygiene students. And so these are just some of the ways in which we were able to not only help our employee population, but really employees in the community at large. And, and it was that cohesive and, and collective action on the part of the team that really allowed us to make such a big impact in, in just a short period of time.